This isn't your home. What are you talking about? This is the Umbrella Academy. The Umbrella Academy is back. But the new world they're facing offers a whole new set of challenges, namely the discovery of the Sparrows. Season 2 left us with so many questions. Why is Ben alive now? Why is he a Sparrow? Who exactly are the Sparrows? What we want to know is how this new team of superheroes is going to rock the world of the Umbrella Academy, since it isn't really their world anymore. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm just happy that we're home. Loyalty and betrayal have always been major themes in this series, so how will the introduction of the new characters, especially the new Ben, affect the Umbrella Academy we've grown to know and love? This is the Sparrow Academy. If we didn't think it was a full house with the Umbrella Academy before, the addition of the Sparrows definitely makes things pretty crowded. Season 2 left us wondering what would become of the Umbrella Academy, since in the world they've returned to, the mansion is no longer their home. Not only that, but the world they exist in is the Sparrow world. It seems like the introduction of these new superheroes will lessen the control that the Umbrella Academy's superheroes have. Naturally, the Umbrella Academy will be thrown by the new kids in town, especially since one of them used to be one of their own. It will be interesting to see how the dynamics of the Umbrella Academy shift, as for each of them, there is a Sparrow, many of whom have similar qualities of character. The fact is, this offers plenty of opportunity for clashing and camaraderie between the two groups. What the hell did we do now? The Umbrella Crew will need to find their way back to their own world, and the additions of the Sparrows could make that trickier. The Umbrella siblings have never faced a group that was just like them. And at this point, they don't know how powerful they are. On top of all that, they have the added stress of seeing their former brother with a new family to whom he's loyal. A major question to contemplate is what will happen to Ben. If the Umbrella Academy manages to find their way back to their own reality, is it possible for Ben to be part of that? Hey, Ben! Jesus. It may be possible that he exists in both worlds. Can Ben choose which world he's part of now that he's alive and in one reality? The Televator could definitely come in handy for that. We saw the plans for it in Season 2, and with it could come a solution to the issue of the Sparrows since it will allow a person to travel through space and time. It seems like that would be the easiest way to get back to their own world. You're so independent, go fight your own battles. Ben is back. Season 2 left us with a surprising reintroduction of the original member of the Umbrella Academy. Touting a new look, character, and personality, the Machiavellian tactician is far from the Ben we knew. So how will this affect the OG Umbrella Academy? Well, it's important to note that he's higher in the Sparrow hierarchy than he was with the Umbrella Crew, moving up four places to number two as a Sparrow. Even though his proper rank is number two, it's obvious he's ready to be leader of the pack. Since he's a higher rank in this world, chances are he won't want to team up with his Umbrella siblings. However, if he did, what would that mean for the Sparrows? The fact that Ben has been reintroduced as a Sparrow means he can potentially shift the dynamics for both sets of siblings, and be number one regardless of which family he's with. With this new Sparrow being brought back fully alive, we're curious about the possibility that his abilities have changed and if there are untapped powers to be introduced. He could have skills beyond his ex-sibling's comprehension, and we can't forget the sentimental factor. Shh, 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 it's okay. The Umbrella Academy isn't just facing new strangers. They're facing one of their own. Further, we already know that Ben is a completely different person now and doesn't remember his siblings, so this is bound to cause friction between him and the Umbrellas. We're definitely curious to see how emo Ben interacts with his former siblings. Either way, there is definitely a chance for the relationships between the OG crew to grow stronger or completely fall apart. Ow. And then there was the Cychronium Cube character, aka Christopher, aka Sparrow number seven. This unusual Sparrow sibling is bound to switch things up in the series. While we know he is considered a mentor and mediator for his siblings, we don't know where Christopher the Cube came from, meaning he could throw the Umbrellas a lot of challenges on their journey getting back to their world. How exactly does this cube fit in with the Sparrows? Well, there is a possibility the cube is actually Harlan. While his name is Christopher, what if this is what Harlan is like in an alternate universe? 
Ben exists here in a totally different way, so why not? What about the chance that the cube contains a soul and that soul used to be a living human sibling named Christopher? Since we don't know his origins, we don't know for sure that he has always been a cube. Then there is also the idea that maybe Sparrow number 7 is actually an AI caregiver for the Sparrow siblings. He is viewed as their protector after all. We're really curious to discover the depth and powers of our new Psychronium pal, especially since we already know he is quite powerful. In fact, it gives him a huge advantage over the Umbrella Academy crew since he can use his powers to weaken all of them at once if they're together. The addition of the Sparrows themselves adds a major twist for the Umbrella Academy, but the fact is, there's still so much that's unknown, presenting us with obstacles and possibilities beyond the abilities of the Umbrella siblings. April 2nd, 2019, the day after the apocalypse. We've got a full year to think about it since the new season won't be released until sometime in 2022. So let us know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing from The Things.